Hi guys, so as we get further and further into post-Brexit world, it becomes more and more difficult for Brexiteers to find something positive about Brexit. But don't worry, the Daily Express, the pro-Brexit, pro-Tory newspaper, is here to save the day. It says here in this headline, Take that Brussels, UK to launch ferry trade route around Europe to bypass hated EU rules. So it goes on to say in the article, um, the proposed ferry service would travel between Pool in Dorset and Tangier Med near Tangier. The roll-on roll-off service would cut the journey time between Britain and Morocco in half from six days to just three days. So um, the current route that, that takes place between Pool, for example, and Tangier, you can see here on Google Maps. So it takes about between 27 hours and 31 hours to travel from Pool down to the city in Morocco. So the proposal would be to send a ferry instead around France and Spain and um, roll off in Tangier. Now, what I want to show you is here, this is the exporting is great. This is the international uh, trade website for the UK government. And it's talking here about exporting to Morocco. And it says here, first of all, Morocco is a politically stable, business friendly country. Though its economy has, be, uh, has tra traditionally been more aligned to Europe than Africa, Morocco is increasingly taking advantage of opportunities across the African continent. This opening up the Moroccan economy is creating further opportunities for UK firms. And then it talks about ease of business, economic growth and reform, trade links uh, with the UK. And then at the bottom we see um, ease of doing business, 53rd out of 190 not that easy currency uh, business language French <laughs> not English okay but we'll overlook that GDP per capita and it's compared with the UK and then growth rate is three percent okay so this seems well it's nothing too bad here it seems politically stable and ease of doing business is not great but what's interesting is this website is actually an update on an original website from the International um, the Department of International Trade for the UK government. This was actually published in 2015, just before the Brexit referendum. And you can see here, uh, it's, it gives a review of Morocco. It says here, strengths of Moroccan market include good communication networks and global tra uh, transport connections, strategic geographic location and gateway to Africa, Open Skies Agreement with the European Union. Okay, that's gone. Uh, and low cost flights from the UK. So that's gone. Because of uh, the Open Skies, the UK is no longer part of the Open Skies uh, Agreement. Strong banking and finance sector. Um, advanced status with EU since 2008. You can see how that is mentioned. So what is this advanced status? So it says here for uh, of the Southern uh, partners, Morocco has been one of the most developed has been the most developed relationships with the EU. An, associate, an association agreement has been enforced since 2000 and a new ENP action plan was adopted in 2013. The country was granted ENP advanced status in, 20, in 2008, reflecting the ambition of strengthening EU-Morocco cooperation and to further support economic and political reforms. So it's moving closer and closer <laughs> To the European Union. Okay, but let's get back to what it says here. Uh, competitive labour costs, tax incentives, no restrictions on, to capital and ease of repatriation for profits and dividends. That's interesting. Um, and Morocco was ranked fairly high in the World Bank 2016 doing business, moving up five places from 2015. Okay, so what about the challenges? Of course, it doesn't talk much about the challenges on this other website. But let's have a look at some of the challenges. So it says here, there are some challenges to doing business in Morocco, including bureaucracy. I thought Brexiteers didn't like bu bu uh, bureaucracy. Implementation of legislation and delayed decision making. Counterfeiting. Corruption. Although the Tories don't have a problem with corruption. Competition from EU trading partners. And growing competition from non-EU countries. So a big problem is competition with the EU, basically. Um, price sensitivity of the market and low consumer purchasing power. 
So the market is quite unstable when it comes to price sensitivity and low consumer purchasing power. So what are you going to sell these people? High unemployment and large informal sector. Informal being people are working. It's basically the black economy. Um, so it's not exactly, you know, this is what the UK is replacing trade with Germany, trade with France, trade with Spain, trade with Austria, trade with uh, parts of Scandinavia with. But let's get back to the, uh, the article. It goes on to say at the end, trade between Morocco and the UK was valued at around 2.5 billion in 2018, compared with 672 billion in regards to trade with the European Union. So once again, we have a case of the UK replacing important trade with a pittance. Let me know in the comment section, guys, what you think about all of this. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons. You ensure that this channel continues to exist. I'm eternally grateful for all of your support. If you join Patreon, you will receive instant access to our Discord server, where we have both audio and video chats. You can chat with me and other patrons, where we discuss important and non-important issues. Becoming a patron per month costs about the same as a large coffee. So why not check it out?